Hi, I'm Tricia from Equine Energetics, and I'm a horse communicator and healer. And recently I've been thinking about the concept of respect. It's a word that's used a lot in horse circles. Does my horse respect me? How do I get my horse to respect me? Um, it's a constant question, which started, I think, back when natural horsemanship first was super popular. Um, and still hovers around, I think. It's still a question on a lot of people's lips. Or maybe you're getting peer pressure from friends or um, you know, other horsey people saying your horse doesn't respect you and you're wondering what to do about that. It's an interesting question because it's a, it's a human word and concept. Even if um, the people that use it say that they've studied herds of horses, maybe in the wild, and they've observed how uh, they interact with each other and they've come to certain conclusions about how horses get other horses to respect them. It's still quite a human concept. And as an animal communicator, I'm always interested to think about, well, what do horses actually have to say about that? If we could ask them, what would they say about it? Do they actually understand it the way that we do? Does your horse respect you? And if your answer is yes, how do you know? Is it because he's very well behaved and does what he's told or what you're asking him? Is it because he's sweet and kind? Um, maybe he's just very well trained. He might not respect you, but he's well trained. He might be doing what he's told, but be shut down and not respect you actually. So how do you know? It kind of goes a bit deeper, doesn't it? There are lots of things that might be um, affecting this and maybe horses don't understand it the same way as us at all. So as an animal communicator, I thought I would ask. And um, I am endlessly curious about what horses actually think about those common things that we humans or horse people um, do to them or with them. <laughs> and what do they actually think about it? So uh, one thing that I do to get some answers and some statistics is I do surveys on my Facebook page where people post a photo and name of their horse. And then I ask whatever the question of the week is and um, get a yes no answer using my pendulum and it's a strong healing pendulum that I use. So it's a way that I can get a decent number of horses um, opinions and feedback to give us some statistics on what they actually think about things. When it came to the respect question I asked them first um, whether they actually understand the human concept of respect. And actually only 30% said yes. And this was from a survey size of 73 horses. So a third said yes, they understand the concept of respect, the human concept, only a third. When I then asked, um, do you trust, um, respect your owner? 41% said yes, 59% said no. So it's still under half respect their owners. Now, just to throw a slight spanner in the works, 
there were some horses who said, yes, they understood the concept, but didn't respect their owners. And there were some horses who said they didn't understand the concept, but yes, they respect their owner. So, you know, there are a lot of variables and a lot of reasons why they might res respond the way they do, um, whether they're happy, whether their current living situation is, is a good one or not, whether they like their owner or not, all sorts of things. So it's unscientific and, um, you know, a bit woo, but for me, it's still quite interesting to get a bit of a feel for their actual understanding and um, um, feelings about certain things. I'd love to know what you think about the concept of respect. Leave me a comment or ask a question if you want to. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe it's time that we remove the word respect from our vocabulary when we're talking about or to our horses. Maybe we should just be um, treating them consistently with respect, regardless of whether they respect us or not. If we change our mindset and treat them well, regardless, everyone benefits. I hope you found that useful. If you're still struggling with what might be going on with your horse, check out the um, details below and grab a copy of my free PDF, What's Wrong With My Horse, or PM me to arrange an animal communication session for your horse. Keep connecting with your horses and I'll see you next time.